Hi, hello, I'm Sam Harrison, I read, review and discuss fantasy, science fiction, books. Something a little bit different today, we are going to go through a pub quiz style quiz. Uh, so this is going to be on fantasy and science fiction books. I have got a fantasy round, then there's going to be a science fiction round, and then there's going to be a picture round. So I'm going to ask you all to be honest when you play and just... Um, yeah, I'm going to ask you to be honest when you play, so uh, try and answer the questions in the 10 seconds that are provided for each question. Don't Google it, don't cheat, pop, your, pop down below in the comments how many points that you've got. I'll be giving you the answers at the end of every round, uh, so make sure that you've uh, answered all your questions before you move on to the next round. So let's go straight in with the fantasy questions, and we are starting today with question one. In Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time series, what kind of creature is loyal? Okay, question two. In John Gwynne's Bloodsworn Saga, what type of animal god is Ulfia? Question three. What is the name of the protagonist in Philip Chase's Way of Idan? Question four. In the Narnia series, what type of fantasy creature is Mr. Tumnus? In Brandon Sandon In Brandon Sanderson's Stormlight Archive, what are the names of Dalinar Colin's sons? You get half a point for each correct son. Who is the eldest son and heir of the Farseer family at the beginning of Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb? Question 7 coming up now. In which fantasy series would you find the dragon Valeris? Which city does Harry Dresden live in? That's question eight. Which city does Harry Dresden live in? What is the name of Aragorn's sword in Lord of the Rings? If there are many answers for this one, uh, I only looked up one. So make sure that you have uh, the most popular answer. The Discworld resides on the back of which giant animal? And here are the answers. So, question one. What kind of uh, creature is loyal in the world of time? He is an Ogier. Ulfrir is a wolf god. Dayraven is the name of the protagonist from The Way of the Dam. Mr. Tumnus is a fawn. Dalinar's children are named Adelin and Renarin. Uh, the heir to the Farseer throne is uh, Chivalry Farseer. At the beginning of the books, you may be uh, thinking that's a trick question. Kind of was. The dragon Valeris can be found in The Bound of the Broken. Harry Dresden lives in Chicago. And Duril is Aragorn's sword. And the gigantic animal that the Discworld rests on the back of is a turtle. Now we're going to move on into the science fiction questions. So, what is the name of the protagonist from Christopher Rocchio's Sun Eater sequence? And this is the full name, and there is a middle name for you to think of. Question two. What is the name of the Bene Gesserit Messiah in Frank Herbert's Dune? This one you'll need to remember is the name that the Bene Gesserit call him, not the Fremen. What are the name of the authors that collaborate under the pen name James S. A. Corey to write The Expanse? There's two authors here, um, I'll need uh, both authors and you get half a point for each. Which famous book is widely thought of as the first ever science fiction novel? 
There's probably multiple answers for this, but there's one that I think most people will know is the correct answer. Isaac Asimov famously wrote the three laws of what? Uh, question six here. The movie Blade Runner is based on which Philip K. Dick novel? I thought it was a short story originally, but when I researched this, it did say that it was a novel, so that's fun. In Pierce Brown's Red Rising, which colour is used by the Golds to keep order on Mars? Which colour? Where is the novel Artemis by Andy Weir set? And we're talking the celestial body here. Uh, Artemis is set in Artemis, but you know, that's, that's a bit of a giveaway. Arthur Dent is the last surviving human in which series of books? And then we have our final science fiction question here. Ray Bradbury was once quoted as saying he had only ever written one science fiction novel. Which novel was he referring to? Oh, for some reason the countdown didn't start automatically this time, whereas every other time it has started automatically when I didn't want it to. So that's fun. But you've had way more than 10 seconds to answer this one, and this one's kind of a fun question. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed the science fiction questions. So let's go straight into the answers. Now, Hadrian Marlowe's full name is Hadrian Alexander Marlowe. The Bene Gesserit uh, Messiah is called the Kwisatz Haderach. Daniel Abraham and Ty Frank write The Expanse. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley is widely thought of as the first ever science fiction novel. The Isaac Asimov's Three Laws were the Three Laws of Robotics. The Philip K. Dick book that, or well, novel that uh, Blade Runner is based on is called Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? The greys are the, the um, colour that the golds use to keep order on Mars. The moon is where Artemis is. And Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, or Hitchhiker's Guide, is the series that Arthur Dent is the star of. And Ray Bradbury uh, was once, once quoted as saying that he only ever wrote one science fiction novel, which was Fahrenheit 451. The picture round. Who's this? you got 10 seconds. I think this one's an easy one. But let me know whether you think it's easy or not in the comments. Okay, question two is gonna be a book cover with the titles removed. That has taken us back for some reason to the answers. We're gonna go straight into question, okay, picture round number two. So this is a book, t book with the title removed. So if you want to let me know what the name of the book is and the name of the author. Half a point for each. For some reason, the 10 second countdown is now working as I designed it to. Who's this? 10 seconds, this is a famous fantasy and science fiction author. Which book is this? Again, this is a uh, fantasy novel that has had the cover, uh, the, the text removed. So we'll need the name of the book and the name of the author to get a full point. Who's this? One of the interesting things about the, doing this quiz was I realized how many fantasy authors I had no idea what they looked like. But now I feel like I have a pretty decent grasp. And which book is this? Again, this is a book that has had the text uh, and the author's name removed. Let's have the uh, full name of the book and the author's name. Barry's now sitting on my lap, but I believe the camera focus is so tight you can't see it. Sorry about that. 
but you may hear some purring. Now, who's this? This is an interesting photo, and I have blurred the title of the book, although you could probably guess it if you uh, know anything about the internet, I guess. What's the name of this book? Um, by one of the authors who's had their photo in the picture round as well. I keep forgetting to start the 10 second countdown, so uh, this quiz is going swimmingly so far. I think that we're having a great time. Who is this fancy author? Uh, I think every single uh, person that is in the picture around is an author that um, I've either read or said I'm planning on reading. So hopefully um, that will mean that if you pay attention to the channel, you'll have a leg up. And which book is this? This is the final picture round. Uh, so after this, we'll be doing the answers. Okay, so here's the answers for the picture round. So the first picture was beloved fantasy uh, Viking reenactor John Gwynn. The second was uh, Neon Ghosts by Daniel Green. The third picture was Fonda Lee. The fourth picture was Justice of Kings by Richard Swan. The fifth picture was Evan Winter, who's the author of Rage of Dragons. And the Sixth picture was The Book That Wouldn't Burn by Mike Lawrence. The seventh picture was Brandon Sanderson as Baby. Uh, the eighth picture was Yumi and the Nightmare Painter, um, also by Brandon Sanderson. Uh, there wasn't enough room to write it in the box. The ninth picture was Hannah Kainer, author of God Eater, I think. God something. Hmm. God Killer? I think God Killer is the name. I'm real bad. Um, apologies to Hannah Kena if you end up watching this video. And the uh, final uh, book cover was Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, which is kind of a difficult one. Um, I love that artwork, which is why I popped it in. But I did think, like, oh, are people going to be like, which Robin Hobb book is this? <laughs> um, but hopefully it's famous enough that people will know that cover up. So, how many points did you get? There is a maximum number of points of 30. So please do let me know how many points out of 30 that you got. Uh, anyone who gets close to the full 30, you have my utmost respect. I definitely wouldn't have got that myself. I had to do a lot of research um, to make sure that I was not just limiting it to the things that I knew loads about. That's why there's Lord of the Rings and Discworld and Hitchhiker's Guides questions in there. If you, uh, when you pop your score down in the comments below, let me know what you thought of the quiz, whether you had fun doing it, whether you'd like me to do another one. Um, I was thinking that this could be an ongoing series on the channel. So I've seen a lot of people who do uh, fantasy booktube stuff will often have like a news show where they'll be like, I'm going to talk about the fantasy news, like Daniel Green, for example, named in the scoreboard up here. Um, but I feel like everyone who currently has a news show is doing a really good job and my voice isn't really needed as another one of those. And I like doing the uh, interviews and stuff with authors, um, but uh, not. I don't know if I can pull together enough of those to make it a regular series. And so I'm, I've been looking for another regular series to add to the channel that um, I think that subscribers will enjoy and that will be fun to put together. So let me know if you think that this is a great, uh, this is going to be a good one. Um, I've had a, a lot of fun um, putting this together and figuring out all the technical stuff. Uh, I had about, this was meant to be last Wednesday's video and I think I had about 17 different technical issues to the point where my keyboard and mouse stopped working and I was like this is a sign that I should just not be making this video today which is why I made it today to go out today so I hope that you guys have enjoyed this one uh, I've really enjoyed putting it together and uh, yeah I think that's everything so as I said before leave a comment with your score and let me know whether you like the video because that is obviously important and of course, when you're on your way to like the video, just give it a like. 
and subscribe to the channel if this is the first time you're seeing it. I normally read, review and discuss fantasy and science fiction books. I'm uh, currently making my way through the Wheel of Time and the Sun Eater series, along with a ton of other fun and interesting books. I uh, just finished reading The Silver Blood Promise by James Logan, so if you look to, like to see reviews on all of these, they'll be coming out in the coming weeks. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.